the A-series chip powers every experience on iPhone, including a breakthrough new GPU. Apple has just announced its new iPhone. And just like the old iPhone that vanquished Nokia back in 2007 and Intel in 2019, it's now set to take on NVIDIA in 2024. You know that the entire Mac lineup uses the Apple Silicon M-series chips. These chips use the same ARM-based architecture from the original iPhone A-series chips. These ARM-based chips excel in CPU performance and power efficiency. However, there is one issue. Since the M-series chips are built on the same foundations developed by Apple for iPhones, they encounter a specific problem when deployed across the Mac lineup. They perform poorly in raw GPU computational power. While they excel in tasks similar to CPUs, they significantly lag behind in ray tracing. Yes, ray tracing, which is essential for gaming and 3D environments. To make matters worse, Apple Silicon chips do not support external GPUs. In June 2023, at WWDC, Apple announced their last Mac Pro transition to Apple Silicon. Despite having multiple PCI slots, it would not accept an external GPU. This hinted at something exciting. Yes, Apple Custom Ray Tracing Architecture, recently implemented in the latest Apple Silicon A17 chip. A groundbreaking innovation of A17 Pro is a brand new GPU with a new Apple design shader architecture, our biggest redesign in the history of Apple GPUs. This is a Pro-class GPU that expands what's possible on iPhone even more. We focused on three things, improving performance and efficiency, running complex applications, and adding new rendering features. The new GPU is now a six-core design, which is up to 20% faster for peak performance. And we also focused on energy efficiency that helps with sustained performance for games. We've added brand new features to the GPU, like mesh shading, which lets games create detailed environments while drawing less power. And for the first time, we have hardware accelerated ray tracing, featuring the fastest ray tracing performance in any smartphone. Here's a scene without ray tracing that instead uses cube maps to approximate the reflections on surfaces. The light reflecting in the scene is less accurate and thus less realistic. Now here's a scene with ray traced reflections, more accurately representing the behavior of light and reflections of the environment. With hardware accelerated ray tracing, A17 Pro can run these graphics smoothly at much higher frame rates than with software based ray tracing. It's a more immersive experience for games and AR applications. A17 Pro is more energy efficient and can run up to four times faster when compared with software-based ray tracing on A16 Bionic. That's why they're calling it A17 Pro. Apple has specifically focused on improving real-time ray tracing. The current high-end M2 Ultra, with the most powerful GPU, barely outperforms NVIDIA 4050 chips. With the new GPU architecture, the M3 base chip will surpass the 4050 with a fanless MacBook Air. The new M3 Ultra's GPU will outperform 4090 chips in Geekbench scores. And it will still be very power efficient. This will mark the end for NVIDIA. The new M3 chips are expected to be launched in May 2024 at the WWDC 24 event. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are also excited for the M3 chips and can't wait to see them in action.